The member for Kooyong. The new presidential election is tightening. Monday's Pew Research Centre poll found 49 per cent of likely voters favoured Republican candidate Mitt Romney and 45 per cent favoured President Barack Obama. Gallup and Rasmussen polls had the candidates level pegging. This is a massive 12-point turnaround from where polls were a month ago and could be traced back to Mitt Romney's barnstorming performance in the first presidential debate. What this means is that the presidential race is now game on. Anyone can win, which makes the Australian Labor Party's personal and vitriolic attacks on the Republican Party and its candidates all the more damaging and alarming. Let's not forget Wayne Swan, Treasurer of Australia, called the Republicans cranks and crazies. Foreign Minister Bob Carr in his blog just before entering parliament described Mitt Romney as bloodless. Former House Speaker and Republican candidate Newt Gingrich, the mad professor, and former Republican Senator Rick Santorum as someone who lusts for war. In Carr's words, these were unworthy opportunists who make him petrified. Can you believe it? Australia's foreign minister, a number one diplomat, saying that the man who could very well become the next president of the United States makes him petrified. Let's not forget when John Howard made comments, the finance minister rushed out a press release, Penny Wong, and said this risks the strength of the US alliance. Well, let's hear her say that now. We're no more sure. double standards from the Tony Labor Party. Ellsworth. Forget Bruce Springsteen. Tony we want Ellsworth. real politicians who care about the real national interests. Attacking Republicans to shore up your political the base is dangerous and against the national interest.